Hello everybody. Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. This is how you do it. Summer of 2020. Mwah. Game on. Top water, every kind of water, we're gonna do it this year. Coming to a honey hole near you. Hello everyone. Welcome to the show. Top water time. Let's go. Get right to it. We've got the sun and a bird about ready to fly right into me. The sun's just now getting ready to come up. We got limited time, so we're gonna get out here kind of as fast as we can, but not hurry too much, and see if we can catch some topwater fish. Now, we don't have any wind, as you can tell. It's just nice and calm. I've seen a few things hitting. You can kind of hear it. But what I like to do is try to cover water, so I usually throw a bigger bait, something more aggressive, like the big whopper plopper or buzz bait. And I may throw the buzz bait here shortly. Last weekend I had very good luck with it at a different spot. But sometimes when it's this calm, just a little popper will work. All depends on how aggressive they are. Oh! Did you guys see that? I don't know if I should say that first or not. Whopper plopper is pretty tough. It hit that tree going almost full speed. Ricochet down. Oh, there was a little bump. Little bump. Got off to a rocky start here on top water. That is a little bitty dude for that big a whopper popper. But get in here. We are officially on the board. He hit the just a tail end of that thing. Might need to throw the smaller one real quick here, I don't know. There we go, first one on the board. It is just now 548. I got on the water about 545. So a couple minutes in, we're on the board. No skunk, but that is, that thing was barely bigger than this bait. All right, everybody, think bigger. I'm just gonna make a quick switch here. And this is strictly based off the fact that last week, I just happened to be trying buzz baits, and this sucker right here was on fire where we were. I have no idea if that'll translate to here, but we're gonna find out. We're fixing to find out. A little bump. Definitely a little bump, boys and girls. There we go. That is a decent fish. Not a monster, but he's putting up a no, that's a good bass. Good chunk. Nice. Pound and a half. Old school buzz bait is new again. I guarantee you these fish have never seen anything quite like that. Mwah. Mwah. Yeah. Okay, got a quick pick. Top water time. Mwah. No need to weigh it. About a, just over a pound, not probably a pound and a half. But we are going to see if it's going to jump. Get on out there and jump for him. Oh, you... let's go. Top water time, baby. Let's do it. Started with the whopper plopper. Then after that big bass and the way they were hitting it at the strip pit, I couldn't keep myself from putting this on. I just had to throw it on and try it. I'll be honest, it's been a long time since I really put a buzz bait to work. Once that whopper plopper came out and I tried it, I've been throwing it or a pop max or pop x or a frog. I've had the buzz baits, kept them, picked up a few here and there. Got another one. Oh, that is a nice bass. Oh, man. I definitely have not been throwing these enough. That is a good one, boys and girls. Going to jump. Oh, 
Oh, stay on. Ooh, wow. That one is fighting. That's about a four pounder. That is though that some of these three and four pounders will outfight a five pounder any day. They just have that horsepower, fish power, I guess you'd call it. Fin power, maybe. They just, they do it. That is an awesome bass. Oh my goodness. Look at that bass. Look at that bass. Look at that bait. Get over here. Oh boy, get over here. Come here. Come oh. again. Woo! Mm. <laughs> Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Topwater Show. It's going to be a good one. There you go, boys and girls. Welcome to this topwater show. It's going to be a good one. That is about a three and a half, maybe four pound largemouth bass on our new old school buzz bait. Thank you very much. I bought these baits. I believe this is a whole tackle box I bought from uh, uh, Debbie Crawford, I believe. Her late husband, Steve Crawford, was an avid bass fisherman, had a whole tackle box full of stuff. I uh, bought it, took out the baits I wanted, and gave the rest of them to my family, Johnny, brother, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, let's wait. Whoa, up. we are zeroed out. I'm gonna hook this fish up. The old lip grippers. And that's in the way. Okay, move that. 370, so three and three quarters, not quite four pounds. You know the deal around here, we can round up three and three quarters, almost a four pound largemouth bass. Mm, let's get back out there mm, and see if we can catch some more. Oh yeah, thanks for the fight. Let's see if she's gonna jump. Water looks a little more clear than it usually is. We should have a good day today. We should have a good day, cause you know what? We're on fire. And part of the reason we're on fire is because of this bait right here. Old school buzz bait, kind of a custom tied. I've never seen one with that white in the very front, but this bait is just working. Worked last week, it's worked so far this morning. It is just now six o'clock. That never even had a chance. I threw that right on top of that fish's head. I hope he stays on, but that's not very big. But that bait is, I felt it as soon as it hit the water, I felt something on it. That tells me that they're like, they're just sitting there waiting for bugs or whatever to hit the water and they're just attacking. That early morning bite. Very nice. Let's go. Come on. Look at that jumper. Oh boy. Oh, that looks too good. Oh, I was getting ready to say, that is a good one too. That looks too good. Couple pounder. Don't come off. Stay on this. Whoa, he is not hooked that great. Couple pound largey. Get over here, boy. Ooh, it's hooked. Oh. Now he's hooked better than I thought. I saw that first one. I thought he was barely hooked. Mm. There we go. Oh, that sun is coming up. Oh, my goodness. I'm not going to weigh this one. I'm going to call it almost two. Maybe not quite. Mm. We're going to see if it'll jump. I'm not even getting a pick. I know I should. I'm a horrible person. But I think I need a jump or two for luck. Mm. Come on. Get it, baby. Yes. You guessed it, we're on fire. Buckle up, hang on, let's go. This bait is killing it. I need to copy this and make another one just like it because these baits, as anybody knows, none of your buzz baits last forever. They're kind of like a spinner bait with that wire. They will eventually, well, no bait really lasts forever. Way better than a key tech though, Kai tech. We're on it, boys and girls, but unfortunately, this bite is probably going to die off fairly quick. I don't know if you guys can tell, that sun is popping up behind my back. It's 
sneaking up on me, so to speak, and will more than likely kill this topwater buzz bait bite anyway. I may still be able to use something right close to the surface for a little while, but if I go for very long without this producing, I will switch. It won't take me too long to switch to... Oh, look at that. Look at that perfect shot. Oh! Yeah, I'm not going to blame that one in there. I wasn't ready for that one. I was just going to say, that's what I meant to do. Bounce it off the log, put it in the perfect spot. Miss a fish. Like our top water hope. have went away with the sun popping out. But, nope, I caught one more. This may be the last one on top water, but oh, he was a good one. Ooh, I hooked him right in the eye. That is not good. I don't want you guys to see that. I think it just missed his eye, but it was right there close. Mwah. All right, guys, I'm going to put an end to that quick topwater video, buzz baits. Old school buzz baits. Oh, they're the new topwater bait. Didn't anybody tell you? Nice bass. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video, topwater time. So get out, go bass and bonsai for yourself, and thank you for watching, guys. Make sure and help me out trying to get this channel growing. We are definitely a lot further along than we were a few years ago, but I'll take all the help I can get. See you guys later. I'm gonna stop fishing. Yeah. Get one more right over here. One more right over there. Well, they're getting smaller. Usually a sign top water time is about over. But there's another one. Beautiful largemouth bass. Oh yeah. Old school buzz bait. Putting in the work. Oh, you dirty dog. I shouldn't even yank, but... I panicked! He's already, like, hit and gone before I even... Yank. Well, we are still catching him, but the bite has definitely gotten smaller over here in the shallow side. That sucker was trying to eat that bait. Mwah. There we go, getting smaller, unfortunately. Bait still, I need to check my line. That line still feels good.